up travel squad we are back at it again and welcome back to another shipshape vlog if you are new here shipshape is our vlog series where we try to get in shape for our cruises for our travels and just generally try to live a healthier lifestyle with a goal of getting into ship shape for the inaugural sailing of royal caribbean's icon of the seas throughout this vlog series we just like to document the ups and downs of this journey any recipes and meal preps we may make and we even do weekly challenges sometimes if you are a fellow cruiser or traveler that is looking to get in a bit of better shape or just have a healthier lifestyle in general, you can click down below for some of our previous ship shape vlogs. Plus, we also have a Facebook group where we all offer support to one another and post tips and tricks. We recently got back from our very first full cruise of the year on the Celebrity Equinox. This was our very first time on Celebrity Cruise Line, so go and check out that series if you haven't. We had a really fantastic time, but we are still trying to hop back into the swing of things with Ship Shape and hop back on the metaphorical wagon. That being said, I always like to be really conscious a couple of weeks before a cruise just about how I am treating my body and what I am eating. That way when I get on the ship I am feeling energized and super confident and it also helps me to be confident with our vlogging. <laughs> Your girl and your boy have not been the best when it comes to cooking our meals at home the past couple of weeks. We have been relying heavily on good old Uber Eats, which you can still eat pretty well on, but it can be really tempting to pick out some of those unhealthier options. So I finally, finally did a grocery haul today. I just did like the Publix pickup, which is super easy. You literally just order everything online. They let you know when it's ready and then you go and pick everything up and they just put it in your car for you. So that really helps me to not go in there and just buy whatever my eyes desire. <laughs> Just went and picked everything up, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got. Everything bagels, nature's own keto bread, it has 40 calories per slice, Rotel for our meal prep this week, chicken tenderloins because I just think that they're easier to cut up, some eggs, Bane's favorite energy drink, my favorite energy drinks, the Ghost Energy. This is my new obsession right now, and it is Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kids, and only five calories, so can't stop drinking these. Some Parm. These Ready Bake Berea Pasta, which is super nice. You just throw it in the microwave. Some taco seasoning for our meal prep this week. Some Ready Jasmine Rice. A couple of different kinds of low-carb tortillas. An egg scramble. My favorite cheese, the Tillamook cheese, these two for meal prep, and a new addition that we're gonna be trying out this week for our meal prep. For this week's meal prep, I have decided to do, drum roll, tacos! <laughs> I know that may not sound very exciting, but I didn't really feel like doing a food related challenge this week. So I still wanted to kind of challenge myself in some way where it wasn't something crazy. As probably no one on here knows, I actually used to be a vegetarian. Actually, I was even vegan for a year, which meant that I didn't eat any type of animal products. So no cheese, eggs, anything. And vegetarian for about three years. So I didn't eat any kind of meat. And eventually, after I started dating Thane, he eats like regular food and it was honestly kind of hard to be in a serious relationship where I was vegetarian and he wasn't and I honestly missed meat and it made life so much easier again once I started eating it to be honest just like with meal prep and eating healthier because I was not a healthy vegetarian. <laughs> but I have decided to go back to my roots for this week. And I think it's good every once in a while to have a meatless meal. So we are going to be making meatless tacos this week. Gardein was one of my favorite brands when I was vegetarian. We have our taco seasoning. We have our Rotel. I'm just gonna make this as if it were ground turkey. Got our pan preheating over here and we're just gonna add a little bit of this cooking olive oil. oil. I can't say it like a Southern person. Faina is going to be on a work trip this week, so I'm only meal prepping for one and I don't wanna let the food go to waste. So we're gonna add about half the bag into the pan. Now that it's mostly defrosted, I'm just gonna add in a tiny bit of water and our taco seasoning. And last but not least, our can of Rotel. Well, it certainly smells and looks like my normal ground turkey mixture, but let's see how it tastes. 
even as a vegetarian, I was never a huge, huge fan of artificial meats. They just always kind of skeeve me out, but normal meat kind of skews me out too, so I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, here we go. Bone out the teeth. You guys, that's fantastic. Gardein has improved their texture on stuff so much. That was always kind of the thing that got me about artificial meat was the texture. That's really good. I don't think I could tell the difference if you gave me ground turkey. Plus, you can have three quarters of a cup of that stuff, so almost a cup for just 110 calories. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> that was probably the shortest meal prep in the history of all meal preps, but I'm literally just gonna put that in a giant container for me to eat for dinner for the rest of the week, and I'll just assemble the tacos when it's time. Well, we're not per se going to be doing a challenge in regards to food this week because I don't really consider this a challenge. We are going to be trying a brand new exercise program, which I'm pretty excited about. Also a little nervous because I have not been working out, not even a little bit, to be honest. I know it's gonna hurt. I know I'm gonna be in pain, but I'm ready. So we're gonna try that out this week and I will show you guys starting tomorrow. Good morning, Travel Squad. It is now Tuesday. We had the day off from work yesterday because of Juneteenth, so happy Juneteenth. But I yesterday didn't really go as planned. The plan was to get up and have a very productive day. Even though I had the day off, um, I had to take Fane to the airport, but then I was going to try my new workout that I'm gonna show you guys this week, I promise. Do some organization around the house, cook my meals, all of that jazz. And that's not what happened. <laughs> None of that happened. Um, I ended up just like laying around the entire day and I ordered food. So not feeling the best today. It definitely feels like a Monday even though it's a Tuesday. <laughs> However, today is a new day and I am just really sick of feeling so unmotivated. So I'm gonna make my own motivation. <laughs> I got up this morning, I put a little bit of makeup on, I put my hair up, I actually put on clothes that I can work out in later. I'm just taking like smaller steps to ensure that I don't just go get back on the couch and lay around all day. <laughs> I'm really just ready to hit the ground running and start making my goals come true. Time for some plain black coffee in one of my favorite mugs. You can probably guess why. And we're just gonna use our Starbucks breakfast blend. And cheers. Oh, it's really hot. Mmm, tastes like plain black coffee. <laughs> I tried to tell my cats that we are doing intermittent fasting and they're not having it. So I'm gonna give them a treat. Nova sit. Good girl. Lena, you want one? The time has come to break our fast. I'm very, very hungry. We'll be breaking our fast with Thomas Everything Bagels. They are 290 per bagel, so I'm just gonna do half. I tried to get the bagel thins, but they were out of them at Publix. We're gonna do one egg, a little bit of my favorite cheese, and then we're gonna put a little bit of the chive um, cream cheese on our bagel. Whipped is the best. Yum, here she is. She's looking cheesy and mouth-watering. Mm. Steam, bone out the teeth. I swear that Tolmuk cheese, so worth the extra calories. Just the best. Mm. It is about 6.45 p.m. I had set a goal for myself to do this at 5.30, but I got lost on TikTok. Anyways, today we will be starting this week's kind of fitness challenge. I don't know if I'll call it a challenge necessarily, although any workout for me at this point in time is gonna be a challenge. Anyways, we're starting a new fitness program and this program is super special to me because it was created by our dear, dear friend, Vanessa from Vacation Vibes. I'm sure a lot of you guys know of her by now. And she is a fellow travel and cruise content creator, but she is also a fitness goddess. She teaches spin, she does personal training. She is just, your girl is fit, okay? I have worked out with her several times. I've taken her spin classes. I've done like a little bit of personal training with her on a cruise ship and she's just the best. So I was so excited when she came out with a new program called Vacation Fit. Vacation Fit is a four week program 
and I believe it gets progressively harder each week. What I really like about it is that each day is kind of like a new program and like you focus on different things each day. I like that because I tend to get bored really quickly with my workout. We are going to be starting off with week number one, of course, because it's our first time trying this out. And even though today is Tuesday, we're gonna start on the Monday. It looks like for this day, we are doing a full body work. Lucky me. It doesn't look that bad. We have different sets of different kinds of workouts. Oh no, Vanessa. Okay, now I'm scared. It's three rounds of each of these. Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. You guys are in for a show. Let's get it. I only have one of these, so this is gonna look a little funky, but you should have two. was, that was good. Um, after three rounds of doing those exercises, I already feel that I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. I enjoyed that, and it didn't feel like it took up too much time either, but it also felt really efficient at the same time. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> but if you are interested, you can go to Instagram and go to vacation underscore vibes official. Vanessa has a link in her bio where you can get more information about the vacation fit program. Go check it out. Speaking of vacation vibes, I think it is definitely time for some shower vibes. <laughs> so we're gonna go hop on the shower and then I think I have just an hour left to eat before my intermittent fasting hours are over. Many, many minutes later. Test. Feeling nice and clean now, but now I'm absolutely starving. We are going to cook up some dinner. I'm gonna be using that taco meat, meat that we made the other night. So we'll see what it tastes like left over. I don't know. Just gonna make a few tacos using my favorite cheese, some iceberg lettuce, some pre-diced tomato, my Trader Joe's enchilada sauce, which is the goat. And then we're gonna be trying out these zero net carb mission tortillas. We use mission tortillas all the time, the lower carb ones, but these are street taco size and they're 25 calories a piece. So I'm gonna be having four. How freaking good do these look? Also, I toasted the tortillas on the stove a little bit. Bone out the teeth, I need to stop saying that. Wow, honestly, these are some of the more bland tacos I've had. Not my best work seasoning wise, but the meat, you guys, I could not tell you that this was vegetarian. I'll definitely be using this again. Plus, it's three quarters of a cup for 110 calories. So I did about a serving of that. I still some have some left over that I heated up. Don't know if I'll use all of it, but I feel like this is gonna be a really satisfying meal. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Today is a wonderful, amazing day. Not only because it stopped raining for the first time in like a week, but Mr. Fane is coming home today from his work trip. And I am so ready and so excited to see him. It's been a little bit lonely here without him, especially since we just moved here a few months ago. We don't have like all of our at-home friends here. It's just, it's a little odd, but right now it is 11.40 a.m. So I have about 20 minutes until I can break my fast and I'm kind of thinking it might be a Starbucks day. What do you guys think? In other news, Vanessa's vacation fit workout has been fantastic so far. And I'm saying that because I am sore everywhere. So I'm excited to show you guys day three this afternoon. I kind of want to see if I can get Fane to try it out. We'll see. But yeah, I'm thinking we go get some Starbucks. I think we deserve it. I was so excited to go get my Starbucks. And then I saw this blinking like crazy, but I have 10 miles left before my gas runs out. Is that bad? I heard it's bad for your gas tank. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Hi, uh, yes. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you. Two hours later. Look who finally decided to come back home. Yep, thank you for picking me up from the airport. I really appreciate that. You know you really like someone when you pick them up from the airport. For real. So I have something for you. A little, little surprise. Like what? Pick one. 
I'm not playing this game. <laughs> I am not playing this game. I do not have the best of luck. All right, you pick one for me because you have a better luck than I do. Cool, yay. Uber Eats. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. See? All right, you have one more choice to make. What is it? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, she's literally pull pulling out notes out of her bag, like her pocket. What are you doing? All right, give me back the camera. Are okay. you just gonna pick one? Yeah. <laughs> take it, take it. Uh, Netflix and chill. You got lucky. <laughs> what is the other one? Vacation fit. So you could have had eat at home and work out. So let's Netflix and chill. Not like that, I wanna watch Black Mirror. <laughs> That's a setup, but thank you, yeah. Uber Eats and Netflix and chill, I appreciate that. You got lucky this time. I'll be with that. Oh. <laughs>